Okay, so we're going to start the calibration procedure. A um, couple things. We hit the, uh, the uh, arrow key right here above the status. It gets us over to the uh, main menu. And uh, there's quite a f bit of information in here. Again, I'm not going to cover that on this video. It's only going to be on how to calibrate the CO monitor. So uh, I'll hopefully have videos um, later that will describe the rest of this. But right now we're just going to calibrate the CO monitor. So we press the uh, gases and we notice that uh, the sensor view, which is the program we use um, for the sensors, uh, gives us that the CO sensor is working. So we've got a working. There's different sensors you can select. Ah, look at there, we got a password. Okay, so to get into the password, let's see. Uh, the password, you go to a numbers sign there. The password is the zip code for Bauer Compressors Norfolk. So that's 23502. Hit the uh, return key, hit OK. Okay, so then there's different, you can get in and select different uh, sensors. Um, now, of course, you would have to actually have the physical sensor in order to select it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and back out of there. But we do need to log in whenever we do a calibration. So uh, don't worry about any of this over there. We're going to hit the CO uh, cell. And this gives us the temperature of the cell, the pressure. Of course, it's not running, so there's no pressure. And we have zero parts per million of CO because we um, haven't calibrated it yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, it's going to say push to calibrate. Okay, now there's some uh, warnings here. Make sure that your calibration gases are ready. Okay, so we've verified that our gases are um, within uh, expiration date. Uh, we've got pressure in them. Okay, so once we start the calibration, um, we don't want to stop it midstream. Okay, so and you'll notice here that we're in calibration mode. Compressors off. Always want to calibrate with the compressor off. Okay, so we're going to give us uh, our calibration steps, and there's going to be a timer and a uh, um, and then the actual calibration procedure. It's telling us right now to set the zero. Okay, so first thing we're going to do it is uh, grab our our zero gas there. Okay, so we've got our zero gas. Okay, so we're going to Press the zero, set zero. Okay, we're gonna make that connection and flow the air. And so I I've gone ahead and connected the zero test gas to the manifold. You'll notice it's starting to count down there. We'll go ahead and we'll walk over to the side here. And let's see, we've got our test gas connected. And just prop that up in there. Okay. So that's the connection. And it's just a quarter turn, little, little quarter turn connection. Okay. So that's going to flow for about two minutes. Okay. And right now I've got I've got the doors off on the the compressor because we're doing a little bit of work on it so that's why it's easier to get around, around this. so you'll notice that it's counting down okay. uh, so it's going to count down for two minutes on the pre-stable timer and you'll notice a couple things here it says that it's setting the zero and it's in calibration mode okay again you don't want to run the compressor while it's in calibration, so you want to want to make sure that it's in the off position. Okay, so again, it's counting down. These are these are the uh, longest two minutes of the day is watching the test gas flow through the CO monitor. Okay, and count down. Once it goes through the pre-stable timer, it'll go through the stable timer, and. Once it's in the stable timer, it's going through the calibration procedure. Okay, so that's about a 20 second uh, timer as it's calibrating to the zero gas. Okay. Okay, so at this point, you can go ahead and get your 20 part per million gas ready because once it uh, finishes here, 
Okay, so zero gas went. Okay, so now it wants us to set the span, so we're going to turn off the regulator. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the zero gas. Connect the 20 part per million gas. Turn that on. Okay, and now I'm going to set span. Okay, so now it's setting span. So now it's going to again count down the um, two minutes while the 20 part per million gas is flowing across the cell. Okay, so it's going to purge out the zero gas, the 20 part per million gas will uh, go through the cell um, for two minutes and then for 20 seconds it'll read that gas and set the uh, calibration of the CO cell. So a couple of things while we're waiting again for that two minutes is if you do run out of your test gases uh, the zero gas uh, zero gas is a cylinder 20 okay, and the span gas or the 20 part per million gas is actually a cylinder 16 so those are the two gases that if uh, if they're out of the expiration or if they're low you'll want to uh, call uh, either your local distributor or if you call Bauer direct 757-855-6006 uh, you can get a hold of them and they can either sell to you or uh, direct you to your local distributor um, to order that gas. You don't want to order too much of it because if it sits on the shelf it will go bad and you'll have to throw away a, a hundred dollar however much they are test gas. So you just want to um, order those as they get low. Uh, the manual does recommend calibrating this once a month so you if you've got a monthly uh, checklist that you do on the compressor, you'll want to do the calibration procedure during that time, so I highly recommend that. Um, if you're on a service contract, typically the service technicians will also calibrate your CO monitor and maybe may even put a label on it, noting that it's been calibrated. Okay? The cells last uh, about 18 months to 24 months, typically on the cells. And I'll go through it the uh, procedure on replacing those cells on a later video but uh, almost done here okay so there we go okay so now it says calibration complete we can exit okay now if we notice here look at there our, our CO level is high also reading about uh, about 50 on the uh, pressure there so I'm going to turn off the regulator Okay, so now at this point I've turned off the regulator, I've removed the gas, notice that the pressure dropped to zero, okay, and the CO monitor, or CO level, excuse me, the CO level is starting to drop, okay, that's just the ambient air as it's purging through there. Now, um, if you want to purge that through uh, quickly, you could actually reconnect your zero gas and connect it back to the cell and hit it with a quick little burst of air or zero gas okay and that will speed up the purging of that um, CO level to get that uh, the span gas the test gas out of the cell that way you can fire up the compressor and, and uh, continue on with the rest of your checks on the compressor okay so so that's the uh, calibration procedure on the new sensor view uh, CO monitor system uh, that comes on the Unicus 3 systems and uh, is also optional on some of the other systems so it's actually a relatively uh, quick um, calibration once you've uh, done it a couple of times you should be able to do this in five or ten minutes you do want to leave the compressor on before the calibration. Uh, you want to have it powered on so that it uh, stabilizes. So, um, and typically in most firehouses, they're left on, so you don't have to worry about that. But if, uh, if it, the power has been turned off, 
you're going to want to uh, turn the um, power on, let it stabilize, um, typically 20, 30 minutes or so. Now you'll notice, uh, here's something else that will pop up. You'll get this warning, a low pressure sensor view warning. Okay, notice we have zero pressure coming into the system. So because of that, we actually have a warning. The warning is not going to prevent you from running the compressor. It's just letting you know that there is no pressure on the CO monitor. Okay, so once we start the compressor, remember that solenoid valve will turn on uh, or open, and it will allow airflow to come in through the cell and it will clear that alarm okay now if you if this alarm bothers you you can just press the reset button and that will clear that alarm however uh, later on as the PLC recognizes that there is no flow because the compressor hasn't ran it will um, bring up that warning again okay and again it's just a warning so it's not going to uh, keep you from running the compressor it's just letting you know that there is no pressure across the cell okay so that's nothing to be concerned about you don't need to uh, call and uh, get a technician out that's uh, that's just a normal a normal warning now if the compressor was running and you were getting that uh, that indicator while the compressor is running and you came in and you saw in this menu you saw that you didn't have any pressure probably meant that someone turned that maintenance valve off on the side and it truly isn't getting any uh, airflow so you want to make sure that that maintenance valve is always in the open position okay it should always be open unless you're doing a maintenance on it so again um, just a couple of things to uh, to uh, remember so thank you for uh, listening hopefully this will help you uh, through the uh, calibration procedure i'm tim smith with bauer san francisco if you have any questions for us uh, please contact us uh, our office on the west coast is 925-449-7210 uh, of course the corporate office is 757-855-6006 Thank you for your time. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention before the end of the video. <laughs> make sure to reconnect your sampling tube. Okay? okay, this is the maintenance valve. You want to make sure that's always left open. And make sure that this is reconnected. At this point, you would go ahead and start the compressor. And you'll see your regulator here will pop up. If that needs any fine-tune adjustment, you can do that right here. Okay. I'm not going to run the compressor right now because it'll be too noisy, but um, just make sure that um, before you put the system back into service after the calibration, take off your test regulator and reconnect your tube uh, from the low pressure system so that you will be sampling the air um, that you're compressing. Okay. Thank you.